A new hero has been announced for Overwatch today, and I'm very excited. Uh, more details will be released tomorrow, but in the meantime, there is something I want to talk about, which is this weird conspiracy theory that people have that Blizzard only, well, Overwatch only releases new heroes and new things when they want to hide a controversy. Now, this is a very, very stupid idea, not because I don't think Blizzard wants to hide their controversies. Of course they do. They're Blizzard. But because it's just a day that ends with a Y. Blizzard does terrible shit constantly. They have been for years. This is an ongoing fight. If you have been paying any attention at all to the people, to the workers who have been fighting for their rights against the execs and the dirty, dirty people at Actibliz, then you would know that everything they do has been shit. Everything they have ever done has been shit. And you're coming up here like, ooh, look, they're like trying to hide this brand new thing that they've done when they've been doing that shit for years. And you are too stupid to have paid any attention to what they were doing until you could make some kind of joke about these devs, these same devs who are trying to fight for their own rights, who are just making things and releasing things, and I, it's so stupid. Yes, Actibliz is hiding the shit that they do. It's a day that ends with a Y. It has nothing to do with hero releases, it has nothing to do with anything new the devs are doing, and attaching their name to the people who are abusing them is so shitty. I want to emphasize that. Like clockwork, <laughs> go to hell. Or better yet, how about you actually support the workers, the people who have been fighting Actibliz this whole time, and stop pretending to care about them only when you can make some sort of pithy tweet about how they release new things to hide their controversies, because their controversies number in the hundreds, and we do not have hundreds of new heroes in Overwatch, that's just not how it works. They're just bad. They've been bad for years. And maybe if you are paying attention to the people who have been following this, some examples include Jesse Cox and Steph Sterling. Now just follow those people and their coverage of all the things that Active Blizz has been trying to do to their workers. Follow the ABK Workers Alliance. Follow their efforts in unionizing and fighting the union busting that Active Blizz has been guilty of. And stop pretending to care just so you can dunk on some devs releasing new content. Thank you. Machi out.